play the rhythm guitar of this song, before we start with the first chord, we have to play three tones. We play the third fret on the sixth string, fifth string open, and second fret on the fifth string. And then we put the first chord, and that's a C major, but we do it like this. We put the ring finger on the third fret, sixth string, the pinky finger on the third fret, fifth string, the middle finger on the second fret, fourth string, and the index finger on the first fret, second string. Once we have the chord there, the C, we have to keep alternating the bass with the chord. We start playing the fifth string, then we play a down stroke and up stroke. Get it? And that's what we're going to do all the time. Keep alternating the bass and the and those two strummings. Then we play the sixth string and back to the fifth. So it's five, six, five. Okay, before we we change to the next chord, we are going to play the fifth string, then the second fret on the 5th string and we change to an A minor to play an A minor we put the index finger on the 1st fret 2nd string the middle finger on the 2nd fret 4th string and the ring finger on the 2nd fret 3rd string when we have that A minor we're going to do the same as we played on the C We've, we play the 5th string 6th and 5th Okay, so from the beginning we get this. Nice, after that we play the 5th string, 2nd fret on the 5th string, and we come back to the C. And from there we play the same as we play from the beginning. C, we do the same melody and A minor. Okay, so I play from the beginning. when we end the A minor for the second time, it's not the same as the first time. The first time we played the 5th string and then the 2nd fret on the 5th string. But this time we played the 5th string and the 3rd fret on the 6th string. So we get... Okay, and then we're going to change to an F. We put the bar on the 1st fret Middle finger plays the 2nd fret on the 3rd string, ring finger 3rd fret 5th string, and pinky finger 3rd fret 4th string. And when we have the F, we are going to just keep alternating the 6th string and the 5th. 5th, 6th. Okay, so we have 4 bars with the F. and 4. Then we change to a C and we play exactly as we did in the beginning. Okay, it's exactly the same, but instead of playing an A minor after that, this time we're going to play a G chord. So we put the middle finger on the 3rd fret 6th string, index finger on the 2nd fret 5th string, ring finger on the 3rd fret 2nd string and pinky finger on the 3rd fret 1st string and we do 6, 5, 6, 5 okay, as we did on the F but this time it's only 2 measures 1, 2 Okay, so I'm going to play from the beginning. Thank you. 
perfect. Then we come to an A minor and we play fifth string, six, and we change back to an F. And then we play sixth, fifth, only one measure. And now we're going to change to an F minor and what we do is that we take the F and we lift the middle finger. And we do again, 6th string, 5th. And that's how we play the chorus of the song. I'm going to play the whole chorus. So that's the chorus. When we play the middle part of the song, we just have to keep alternating the C and the A minor. It's all the time those two chords. And after that, we play the chorus again. So I hope that you enjoyed this lesson.